So, sister just tried a California roll for the first time. What did you think? It was good. It was good. She approves. First time sushi eater. We'll get her eating more things soon. This weather is so nice. Back in Maryland, it's still 62 degrees. I love it. Hopefully you can hear me, I've got the windows open, but workout was done, and it went all right. I mean, it was my first workout in four days, so I did squats, deadlifts. I didn't show the accessory work because that's get, it's pretty boring, but I did hit abs, which I'm going to start to do a little bit more because after this series, the Back in Business series, I'm going to start cutting, so I want to start incorporating more ab workouts and more... Uh, cardio. So what I did at the end, I didn't film it, but I did it on the tread climber. So what it is, it's like your treadmill, but it's split in half. So you have two different treads are going at the same time, and it moves up and down. So you're burning more calories. And you know, I only did 15 minutes, and I burned over 150 calories, and I was sweating. Good workout. So I highly recommend that. And another thing I want to stress on my channel is that. I want to stress that, you know, just because I have a YouTube channel does not mean I'm going to make sure I have the perfect outfit on, my makeup and hair is done, just, you know, to satisfy viewers and get more viewers. You know, I don't care about that. You know, obviously, I care about how I look and all that kind of stuff, but when it comes to filming, I'm not going to go out of my way to look amazing. I want girls to understand that just because you're going to the gym or you're filming videos or you're taking pictures, you don't need to be in a tank top and, you know, spandex, leggings. It doesn't have to be that way. I wasn't expecting to work out while I was home because I thought I would be going back on Monday. So I didn't necessarily have all the workout clothes that I normally would have with me. So I just found whatever I had at home, put that on and went to the gym. And that it doesn't bother me and I just want the girls who are watching this to understand that it's okay you don't need to look like Barbie going to the gym so that's my little two cents for this I hope it helps someone I'm starving it is 1:40. I ate at about 9 o'clock I had oatmeal and some egg whites so let's get some post-workout food and I know that I'm going to get sushi tonight and I'll take you guys with me but right now let's head home enjoy this beautiful beautiful weather hope you're enjoying this video so far give it a thumbs up if you are great things are happening guys so stay tuned hang in there hope you're enjoying it all and I'll see you in the next clip so we got here some white rice about mm, cup leftovers gonna do a whole can of this solid white albacore definitely recommend great protein so do that serving of this cheese so that'll be my fats and the protein and make a salad because you got to get those micronutrients So, my sister just tried a California roll for the first time. What did you think? It was good. It was good. She approves. First time sushi eater. We'll get her eating more things soon. What did you get to eat? 
a crab and asparagus oshi roll. Is it good? It's delicious. See it right there? Get a picture of it because it won't be there long. <laughs> For an entree, I got the steamed chicken and mixed vegetables. When you're eating out, you can always eat healthy. Way to work out. That's what I've got. Comes with Szechuan sauce and a side of brown rice. So I'm going to eat this and enjoy it and stay tuned for the next clip. Time to head back to New Jersey, and you know, no trip is complete without Wawa. Wawa coffee, got my Quest Bar, gotta get that fiber in right there. Gotta love Wawa. Gonna eat this, drink my coffee. <laughs> Gonna eat this, drink my coffee, get on the road, and next time you see me, if I can hold my camera, next time you see me, I'll be in New Jersey. See you guys. This is a shout out to my dad. Comment down below if you know this song. So I am back in New Jersey. Just got back maybe an hour ago. I have work in two hours, but came home. I've got a box here. Not totally sure what it's from, but I know it's from Mike Olsen and the guys from bodybuilding.com. So shout out to you guys again for sending me another package. Let's check it out. So what we have is this awesome purple shaker. There you go. Definitely like this. Always good to change it up because when you use them as much as I do, you need some backup. So, got that. Then we have this High Five. Never seen it before. Lean muscle gains and fat loss, muscular energy and recovery. And there's 24 servings in this. It is kind of like the Amped Recovery that I went over in my last supplement review from bodybuilding.com. It was their Platinum Series. So again, Amped Recovery, you can take it pre-workout, intra-workout, post-workout. So you can do the same with this. It's the Fruit Punch flavor with a mango kicker. So that's going to be very good. It does have a blend in here, but it tells you exactly what that is. So definitely use that in an upcoming video and let you all know. Then we also have a pre-workout called Limitless. There you go. Never heard of this either, so I'm excited to try it out. 20 servings in one bottle. This is their Brazen Black Cherry with a grape kicker. So I bet, I guess their big thing is having a little kicker, so two flavor combinations. So everything there on the label. Again, love pre-workouts. So excited to try this. I'll let you guys know how that goes. And this is what I'm most excited for because look at that flavor. Half-baked cookies and cream. This is their protein powder. For one serving, you get 30 grams of protein, half a gram of sugar, so don't have to worry about that, two carbs, and one fat. 26 servings in this tub. And again, unlike most protein powders, you get 30 grams for one serving. And who doesn't love half-baked cookies and cream? And for anyone watching this who is gluten-free and looking for a protein powder that is gluten-free, there's your stamp of approval. So gluten-free, anyone who needs that, highly recommend that. And that's what we got in the box. We got protein powder, shaker cup, pre-workout, and this amino recovery. So I'm going to try these out in the next few videos, so stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys in the next clip. Work done. Now time to hit the grocery store because after being 
away for a week. Not quite a week, but almost a week. I have no groceries, so let's go stock up. Also, I just want to go over a few things for future videos. So you're watching this on Wednesday. The final back in business episode will probably be on Friday, and that's when I will test my one rep max for bench squat and deadlift. Then after that, I will start a program, a workout program, and I'm going to start cutting for the summer. So I'm working on that right now. I'm going to start to track my uh, macros now. Not hit it, not for certain goals, but just to see what I've been taking in. That way, based on those numbers, then I can see how I want to start my cut because I don't want to do it too fast. I'd rather it last until about May, I'm thinking. Have this cut last until May. So that gives me about three months of cutting. So slower, the better. If you guys have, can think of any other titles for that series something about the summer obviously there's the summer shreds obviously I, you know i don't want anything that's been done before so comment down below if you can think of a title for that series that'll be great and yeah headed to the grocery store now gonna pick up a few things and i will take you guys with me but that is the plan for future videos this video we're watching and one more for back in business and then the new series i'll take you guys along the road for that. See you in the next clip. Of course, you gotta get it all in one trip. So I'm just gonna go over the groceries. What I got, this cost me 50 bucks and it'll, some stuff will last me a week, two weeks. Others will last me a while, like the tea and everything. I'm just gonna go through it again. 50 bucks, not that bad when it's good stuff for you and it's gonna last, so let's go through it. So these at Instant Pudding, vanilla is my favorite, but sugar-free. A lot of volume, tastes good, easy to make. So really nothing in it. You can add stuff to it. So these have been a staple for me lately, ever since I found out that I can't really have sugar. So that, got chicken. This is my favorite to cook because it cooks really easily. I always bake it all at once, and that's my food prep. Old fashioned oats, you gotta have this. I probably have oatmeal every day, sometimes twice a day. Just go with the generic brand. Spinach, I'll go through this in a week because I'll use it for smoothies. This is very good. These green tea, I have green tea every single day. This was two for five, so it's a great deal. Got the pomegranate and the wild blueberry flavors. I've had these before. Highly recommend green tea every day. Rice cakes, yes, they're plain because I like to add things to it. And they don't have any sugar, so I don't have to worry about that. Got three of those, and these were like $1.80 each, so very cheap. Puffed wheat cereal, we all know who eats this. Shout out to Travis S, puffed wheat cereal, all you. Fat-free milk, always. I've always had fat-free milk ever since I was little, so that doesn't ever change. Egg substitute, now I've been eating these more than just egg whites because they taste better to me. Still the same macros, so. That's what I'm going to be having instead of egg whites. I like this better. This also sugar-free, strawberry preserves. Put on bread, bagels, anything. So good macros. Tastes good too, so sugar-free. And solid white, albacore. I like this better than tuna, so I got two packs of that. That'll last me a while. And, of course, good old trash bags. That awkward moment when you forget your school's on spring break, so the hours to the gym are shorter, and it's 6.24, and the gym closes at 7. So my cardio, as you can tell, it's going to count from the running I did here and all the walking I did, grocery shopping. So we'll get 30 minutes of lifting. It's arms, well, it's bicep and back. Might just stick to arms, but we'll... You'll find out after this. I'm not gonna have time to film because I gotta hurry because we ain't got time for that. So, see you guys in the next clip. I'm gonna hurry up and get this workout done. So, if there's one thing you take away from this video, it's no excuses. It's seven now. I did do the back and bicep workout. It was great because it's spring break, so no one's in there. Did three exercises with both, supersetted everything that way, could get it in in 30 minutes. Breathing heavy, I don't know if you can tell if I'm sweating or not, but I am, but it was a good workout. Everything was in the 12 to 15 rep range, so lighter weight, more reps. It was definitely worth it. And if you truly love something, then 
you won't have any excuses not to get it done. I've been learning that a lot lately, whether it's waking up early to get to the gym so I can film or running over here literally just so I can get a 30 minute workout rather than saying that, oh, it's not worth it because at the end of the day, it is worth it. This is something I love to do and it just wakes me up in the morning, it keeps me up at night and I hope you guys can see that and just, if you truly love something, it doesn't even have to be fitness related at all, just if you truly love something, you will make it happen, you will find a way. So I'm gonna walk back, grab something to eat, edit this video, hopefully you guys are enjoying it. This is gonna do it. Also, I know it's dark, but I've got the Paragon t-shirt on right now. Love the company, and if you use GMIA, you get 10% off. Link will always be in the description box below. But that's gonna do it for this video. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Please leave it a thumbs up if you are, that always helps. When the road to 500 will get there, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you guys in the next video, and as always, have a great day.